Okay, Susie was asking, when to use the smart selection brush? Ah, the smart selection brush is one of those selection tools that are supposed to make it easier for you. So I'm going to use this one. And the smart selection brush is going to be like any other tool. It's just a start. It's not that smart. Smart to a certain point. What it will do is that it will select things that are similar. It's a little bit like using your magic wand, but being able to brush and grab everything else of the same color. You see? So this is not bad. It's a start. But if you look closely, like those fingers were not selected, so I can hold the shift key and try to select the fingers. Might be lucky, but here, see, I'm going a little over. I have also this area here that is selected, which I probably don't want to. The little white here is not selected that I would want. The end, the back here. And again, it's not perfect. It is great to get a start. So I can select the sock here. But either way, you will have to probably tweak your selection. If you look at the edit selection, you can see some areas are missed. The, the top of the ear is missing. That ear is almost completely missing. The fingers are not very good. But it can be a good start to uh, make your selection. And then you can use other tools to refine it. There is... Oh, I... For if you have a very good contrast with the back of the image, you might be lucky and you can get something like this. So this, in this case, you can see how the selection is pretty good because it has a good contrast. So that would work. And another tool that is available in the selection is the auto selection and the auto selection well it's not that smart either it will work if you have a good contrast i can do this and there it is it's all selected but if i want to use it here I'm not getting as good a result. So it is really um, another tool, but just like a carpenter does not use only a hammer, you he uses other tools. It's the same for paint shop. You have those tools available and that smart selection brush or the auto selection, if you have something with really nice contrast, it will definitely be better than using just a magic wand and definitely better than having to make the selection all around the edges. Hey there, I hope you found this information helpful. If you're curious to dive deeper and explore more about Paint Shop Pro, We've got a wealth of resources waiting for you in our membership area. There, you'll find in-depth classes, workshops, Q&A sessions, and much more to help you enhance your Paint Shop Pro and digital scrapbooking skills. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the campus.